Hope you fellas don't mind a few sand flies in your beans. Bob. Bob, you've got to give us a time to get out of here. We'll go when I feel like it. It's bugging me. A real an hour away. Just one hour over that border and we could be picking up the silver and making a run north. When them rangers along the border get other things to think about besides us, then we'll go. I guess a few sand flies ain't gonna hurt nothing. Oh, Jim, that cooking pan down your throat, you'll take more care of that grub. Look, you don't like the way I'm doing the cooking, then why don't you do the cooking yourself? Oh, Jim, those ugly teeth down your throat. Let him up. Burns. We got problems, Bob. I mean, uh, Mr. Jameson, but it's not my fault. It's not my fault at all. Slow it down. Two weeks I've been trying to get her off that place. Some woman, her and her kids, moved on to that abandoned farm I figured was mine. You saying people are living on our silver? I paid you a thousand dollars to take care of that silver. Well, she moved in before I even knew it. I thought I had the place in for taxes. I still do. I, I think I have the place. I mean... If she's been in there for two weeks, how come you didn't ride out and tell me before? I tried to scare her off, but you just don't scare. She don't scare. Burns, you get back there and keep an eye on that woman. Hey! If anything happens to that silver, I'll turn you over a spit and roast your brain. No question, we got to move now. Durkee! You go out and get across the border. Buy us a freight wagon, some fresh horses. We'll meet you at the old shack south of Arilla tomorrow night. You mean you want me to cross the border all by myself with all them rangers around? I'll dig your grave where you stand. You don't do what you're told. Move! That's what we get for waiting this long. No good like Durkee doing calling on the captain this time of night. I don't know. He could be cutting his throat while you're standing out here yakking. I got ten since it's a meeting. You're on. Now we go in low, under his gun. How do you think you could close the door without one of you knocking it off its hinges? That's them I got coming. So one of the whole town didn't see it I was coming in here. As long as the three of you have shown such zeal, I'll accept your presence as volunteering for this assignment. Hmm. 
I must have left him somewhere, Captain. Like the rest of the Jameson gang, Captain. We got Durkee down for dead or alive. Now, that's why we come busting in like we did. Mr. Durkee and I arranged this meeting in an effort to reach an understanding of mutual benefit. Uh, briefly, he wishes to turn informer on his partners. You mean he's going to rat on the Jamesons? Uh, Mr. Durkee would prefer the word informer. His sole reward, amnesty. The moment he fingers the Jameson gang. You believe in anything he's got to say? His neck is on the line, yes. So take a seat and find out how you'll be drawing your pay in the next few weeks. Now, the Jamesons are planning to cross the border back into Texas. Mr. Durkee will contact you in Rio when the exact time and place of the crossing has been decided. Now, as you know, Rio is a sewer. A hangout for cutthroats. Stay out of trouble. Remember, you're dealing with the Jamesons. And my solemn promise, the minute you take your eyes off the target, I'll personally have you wishing you never heard of a ranger company. Understood? Understood, sir. All right, you can go. Bennett, you stay. You, uh, you wanted me, Captain? You must have something, Reese. But I don't know what it is. I'm feeling fine, Captain. Fit and ready to go. No, no, I meant your charm with the ladies. Apparently, you're very much in demand. Well, uh, thank you, Captain, but I... I don't understand what you're getting at, Captain. Let me make it clear to you, Reese. On my desk are two letters from outraged women who claim you toyed with their affections and ran out on certain promises. I never promised. Promises of marriage. Now, that just ain't so, Captain. I never promised. Maybe I, I kind of mentioned I was considering. Reese, you're no good to this ranger company if you're married. Is that clear? That's clear, Captain. Couldn't be clear. No, sir, that's clear. Move out. Yes, sir. What are you two doing here? Nothing much. Just waiting for you, lover boy. <laughs> accent and he falls apart. Oh. Well, you honey bunnies stop fretting, not them at all. Oh, I, I, I must apologize, truly. I mistook you for some vomits who've been bothering us. Oh, that's quite all right, ma'am. My partner's kind of getting mistaken like that now and then. Saw your problem, figured on helping out. Oh, well, that's mighty chivalrous of you. I say, you boys ain't gonna get that wheel fixed just to sitting on them horses. I declare, it is a rare occasion to encounter a gallant gentleman from back home away out here. Well, allow me. Thank you. Pleasure. Well, that looks like an axle sleeve worn away. Can it be fixed? Well, you could say two shakes. Two shakes. We're gonna have to prop it up, yeah? Well, we can do it with rocks. Every time you two have a job to do, you gotta make a big thing out of it. Now, just lift it up. I'll put my shoulders under it. You fit the wheel on. Come on. Well, I think we ought to use rocks. Yeah, in case some close fitting needs being done. Stop your yakking and put some muscle under it. Now, you sure you're gonna handle a race? You expect to get to a rail by tonight? Up with it. That's it. All right, now hold it there. Hold it. All right. Up. Here we go. All right, hold it. Hold it. 
You got it, Reese? Yeah. Well, I got to hand it to you, Reese. Sits a lot better on you than it would on rocks. Well, you get that wheel on. How long do you think we'll be able to keep him out of that wagon? <laughs> Doesn't it hurt? No. Oh, ma'am. It it seems, ma'am, that we just kind of might need a new hub sleeve. Oh. Did your uh, husband happen to carry any spare wheel parts? Well, I lost my husband some years back. Lord rest his soul. But there's a box of tools with spare parts right behind the wagon seat. Excuse me. Hold it. You want to buy? No, not right now. Well, I do declare. Even got a brand new hub sleeve in here. Can you handle it, Reese? Or should I get some rocks to put under it? Just get that wheel on! Well, now you just hold on. Gotta take a little filing, though. Well, let me help you with that filing. <laughs> My, that does seem awful heavy. You sure it's no hardship? I'll kill him, I'll kill him. I didn't catch that. No, no, I'm just, I'm just fine, ma'am, just fine. He sure is strong. Uh, you do farm work? I was thinking of getting a hard man for the farm. I got a job, ma'am. Might pay you uh, $30 a month come springtime. I'd have to owe you the wages till then. Might stretch it to forty dollars. Ma'am, I got a job. We're rangers. They've come. Oh, glory be. <gasps> You're the rangers. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and here I was singing the governor never even got my letter. Well, now, that good for nothing Sam Burns will have to leave my farm be now. Oh, where you boys stand while you settle my title? Ma'am? Well, I just can't see you not partaking of my hospitality while you're down this way. Lord of mercy, it's been such a spell since I cook for men. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure setting a full table. Well, ma'am, we're not, um, we're not too anxious to be bedding down in a flea-ridden place like a real, but, um, but there's a couple of things you're not... Well, now, it's all settled. Now, you gentlemen just go on into a real, and you tell that no-account Sam Burns that you wouldn't be taking any nonsense from him. Then you come back here, and you just be eating the most mouth-watering southern fried chicken you ever did taste. Real fine, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Up and ends, Reese. Uh, Let's go. Uh, uh, I've got it. Uh. I declare. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, he comes in real handy sometimes. Want a bite now? I cleaned it good after I dropped it. Yeah. Hold it out, fellas. 
Hold it down. This is a special night for you boys tonight. It seems we have a distinguished visitor. Maybe three. Texas Rangers. I'm surprised you boys didn't catch the peculiar odor. <laughs> Come on, Joe. He didn't mean nothing. He didn't? Nobody's hurt. Right, Jake? Nobody's hurt. <laughs> Of course, I realize nobody here is wanted in Texas. <laughs> Though I guess that evens us up with the Ranger boys. And if the one named Joe Riley has got himself a little bit of backbone since the last time we met, I'd be willing to pick things up where we left him. Now, come on, Joe. No, remember what the captain said. Uh, there's no cause for you fellas to get all riled up. We got a little two-bit business matter to settle down here. We'll be off. What kind of business? Well, we Just got, uh, a little farm matter. Yeah, dispute over farm title. You're talking about that widow from New Orleans and her two kids? Yeah, that's the one, the very one. Well, now, you listen to me, Mr. Ranger. I bought that land in for taxes. And for five years, there hasn't been a, a soul living on that place. Then she comes out of the nowhere claiming the farm's hers. Well, we'll look into the right and wrong of it in the next few days. You know, Riley, I got a hunch about a fellow who hides out in the Rangers. Hunch takes thinking, Jake. Now, you know your brain hadn't worked right since I dumped you on your head in El Paso. Now, Joe, is that a polite way to talk? You can see the gentleman is trying to be friendly. Oh, come on. I always figure a little yellow streak starts crawling down from the collar. No other way I can see a man joining the Rangers. Well, will you guys stop it? Guess we can take a joke, Jake. How about me buying you a drink, huh? Well, how about you just getting the music back and dancing with the fella? The last thing we want is trouble with you good citizens of this fine town. Tell you what, drinks on the house. I'm buying, huh? <laughs> what brand of liquor are you drinking, Jake? My pleasure. That brand. tonight the smell of blood spilling just making sure my gentlemen guests don't forget the meal i've got simmering on the stove you mean they're staying at your place now i'm warning you sam burns the next time you send those ruffians out to threaten me you get greetings greetings you won't cotton to <laughs> to the captain. Do you? <laughs> I declare 
Cleo. You gentlemen surely do live up to what they say about rangers. Oh, did my heart good to see you teach those ruffians a lesson. I reckon it'll be a spell before they'll want to push a widow and her children around. See you at supper. She thinks we were fighting over her? Got more troubles, Mr. Jameson. Rangers are living on that farm now, three of them. She calls them her boarders. I told you what I was going to do to you if anything else happened to that silver. But this isn't about the silver. They're here over the title to that farm. She complained to the governor. Rangers looking into a farm title? Three of them? That don't make sense. It's through me, too. There's only one reason them rangers could be at that farm. But, Mr. Jameson, I swear to you, it wasn't me. Turkey. He's had two days across that border. Time to get to Laredo. Sell out. Yeah. Saddle up. I'm gonna pay Mr. Durkee a visit. any chicken cooked like this. Um, mm. You could eat like this all the time. Oh, I declare, it was a downright delight seeing you gentlemen dispose of those ruffians in town tonight. Oh, my. You all gonna put that Sam Burns in jail for tampering with land titles? Well, we'll have to look into that, ma'am. Well, it's laying there nice and clear to see. The land was bought by my husband. Then off he went to war before he could bring us out and settle on. Why, Lordy, I just gave no thought there'd be taxes piling up here. Well, I forget how it went. Something about uh, clean living paying off. See how many spare blankets I can find for you boys. In case that barn gets a mite cold tonight. Ain't everybody we'd let marry our ma? <laughs> Something about warm smelling barns. Always takes me back the time I was a kid. That's impossible. What's impossible? Or with your face ever being a kid? What are you two gonna do when you run out of jokes about my face? Oh, we'll think of something. Something in that beautiful face of his. Got him a double slice of pie tonight. <clears throat> you know, I've been thinking about that. I got a hunch that between the time we left that wagon this morning and come back tonight, somebody made up her mind that there's more than one way of getting a farmhand. What are you talking about? You mean you can't feel that woman breathing down your neck? Oh, you two guys kill me. Every woman treats us with a little politeness. You think she's thinking about getting married? <laughs> For an old man, he sure learned nothing about women over the years. Old man, huh? Well, I'm just old enough to know what's wrong with you two. You don't know a lady when you see one. Well, anybody with a half ounce of sense knows that the wit is a lady with nothing on her mind except raising those kids. Well, that's just what we're saying. The raising of kids and the getting of a husband go right in together. Oh, she just met us. Hmm? Why should she favor me? Oh, maybe she figures that after seeing you under that wagon today that uh, she could save herself the price of a mule. Ho, ho, ho. You know, those kids sure made no bones tonight. But Big Daddy Bear being their choice. Oh, hi there, Wilbur. Ma says there's no sense in the spare room going to waste, having a regular bed and all. Pick a straw for the room. Big straw wins. Oh, been so long since I slept in a real bed, might be I'd fall out. Oh, uh, we, uh, we both got short ones. Looks like you win, Reese. Yeah. 
You fellas better start spending a little more time in church. Well, <laughs> maybe we will. That's where they hold weddings, you know. Huh? Oh. And real pillows. I beg your pardon, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> Should have knocked on your door. <laughs> Just another blanket for good measure. I've learned a man's comfort isn't to be neglected. Well, that's right kind of you, ma'am. Oh, I declare, you make me feel downright decrepit with that ma'am all the time. Wouldn't be disrespectful to call me by my first name. Anna May. Yes, ma'am. I mean, Anna May. Oh, of course, sir. Until I know you better, I just have to be calling you Mr. Bennett. Seems awful forward I call you by your first name right off. Yes, ma'am. I, I mean, it's Reese. Oh, Reese. Reese Bennett. My, that does have a lovely sound. So strong. Oh, I declare I do look aside. Oh, now the breeze coming in from the hills now. Oh, it does something for a body when the sun goes down. Hmm, kind of a good feeling settles in a woman. Yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> here I am just prattling on. And I bet you just can't hardly keep your eyes open. Well, you just call now if you want anything. You hear? coming down here in that woman's business. <laughs> oh, Bob, how about that? Sure finds out the news fast. What were you doing in Laredo? I wasn't in Laredo. Oh? Uh-uh, I was a few miles away from it. That's where I got the horses at. Sit down. I had trouble getting them. You take them three wagons, you know. You know, I had to go all the way to Monty to get them. Hey, you gonna make this a long night, Turkey? Uh uh. What were they paying you? A amnesty, that's all. I just got tired of hiding out all the time. Which means they're probably waiting for us to come and pick up our silver, huh? Uh-uh, they don't know nothing about the silver. They don't know over a ton of silver's buried in that woman's barn? Uh-uh, they're probably sleeping on it right now and don't even know it's there. <laughs> you saying you're hoping the rangers would get us? Then you could have all that silver for yourself. Pleasant dreams. Hold it. Lucky man, Dirk. 
Might even still get your amnesty. You know, Riley, it just don't seem right. What's that? I hear that. That gal thinks we're out here to help her out on something. And we're going to be so busy with the Jamesons that that old Sam Burns will probably run her right off this place. Look, uh, a kid, maybe better stack the wood in Mother's stove now, huh? All right, Uncle Reese. We will, Uncle Reese. Uncle Reese! surprised that uh, they crossed us far south I guess that they're a little bit suspicious you know because you're all around what are you sweating for uh, that's just my nature I always uh, sweat like that if we're gonna make 50 miles by dark we all better get moving now where'd you leave your horse a, a, qu a quarter mile down by the creek all right we'll be there in 10 minutes now get moving uh, is it okay if I stay here just for a little while to cool off him all right slip out front when nobody's around I'll tell her whether we're leaving. You two finish back in the horses. Well, if we have the time, maybe we'll come back. Oh, uh, the governor will be sending somebody down in answer to your letter. Goodbye. Sure was nice working with y'all. Maybe I'll see you around. Oh, no, you don't. We're keeping you with us for a while. Well, I told you they're going to be crossing right over there. He sweats too much for me. Meaning keep going. Come on, get out of here.
to say. What did he have to say? I'll tell you what he had to say. All South Crossing are flooded. That's why he's headed north. Look, now, I swear, they told me on my mother's grave that they said that they was going to cross south. Riley, put that thing away. Captain wouldn't want us killing a man in cold blood. That's right, now. He sure wouldn't. You remember that trapper we found buried up to his neck, Joe? Yeah, the ones the Apaches stuck in the ground. Yeah, that's the one. That sure was a nasty sight. Those red ants almost lost me my appetite that night. Now, hold on. No ants. Besides, ants take too long. A hot rock on his belly. That'll soften him up quicker. I'll get some wood. Now, wait a second. I had to do what I did. Now, which crossing did they take? Well, they crossed to the Rio. They went to the farm. That's where the silver's buried. Silver? Yeah, the last couple of years, everything that we've been stealing, we done turned into silver and hid in their barn, and y'all been sleeping on it there and didn't even know it's there. Over a ton of silver's there. A ton of silver. Do you mean to tell me that there's a ton of silver buried in that woman's barn belonging to nobody except maybe the Jamesons? I didn't say that. Well, I've been figuring it belongs to the first one that gets in there to get it. Uh, hey, wait a minute, you two. We got the Jamesons to think about. It's just you and me left now, huh? Yeah. Uh, you're a loser anyway. You better find a rock, crawl on it, and stay there. Huh? Hey. I saw such a sight in my whole life. Men scratching like chickens. What on earth are they looking for? See, you were dirty, Sam. I swear I know nothing about it. Can't be the Rangers. They wouldn't be down south if they thought there was silver up here. Oh, I, I reckon I ought to be making you gentlemen a good solid breakfast before you leave. It was her. Sure. She's capable of anything. Well, that's a terrible thing to say to a lady, Mr. Burns. From the time the Rangers left here, she's had four hours. They're figuring 80 silver bars or so an hour. Been no trick for her to move it someplace else. Her and those kids. You know, they stuck bars onto my saddle first time I came out here. Oh, well, ma'am, you, uh... You seem to have a sensible head and those pretty shoulders. Why, well, I declare, such a true southern compliment. Meaning we'll be knocking that head about unless you do some talking. Most folks tell me my tongue's rattling away half the time it shouldn't be. Good wasting time soap on us country boys. The silver. Well, now, let me see. Um, we got a few silver dimes saved up in uh, a little old kind of thing they call a piggy. But beyond that... Well, I, I declare. You declare enough to give a man a headache. Well, I declare the way you talk. I could believe you rode with Sherman through Georgia. I think it's time for less you alls and some more cut and picking sense. The court kind of saying where I come from. Where I come from, a man does not threaten a lady. It's in the well! If you were true southern gentlemen, you Thank sure you. enough would share equal with us. Lock him up in here. Keep an eye on him. I might settle for just one of those shiny bars. Sure enough, now you wouldn't miss one. Hurry up, will you fellas? It's hot down here. Did you hear that, Bob? Mr. Burns says it's hot down there. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Be nothing getting out the back way. Now you hush, darling. I can't let you do that. We'll just stay put here and it'll be all right. I just know it will. We're almost rich. Oh, well. I reckon your ma was just meant to raise her lambs the hard way. We can't quarrel with the Lord if that's his meaning. What are we waiting for? Oh, let's let them load it for us. What do you figure on doing with your share, Joe? Well, what's wrong with owning the biggest saloon in Laredo? Yeah. You know, the trouble with cutting Reese in is a fellow like him don't know what to do with all that money. 
Oh, you two guys kill me. You think that money belongs to you? If that silver belongs to anybody, it belongs Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah mean? On her property. Maybe a good share of it belongs to her. Could be half mine. Half uh, yours? Married to the widow would be half mine. Married? Well, you've been telling me how much the widow favors me. Why, that'd be the end of you and the Rangers, Reese. You don't want that. And why not? Not bad looking, the widow. Nice kids. And all that silver. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's go get those Jamesons. I don't think he means that. Nah, not Reese. Being a Ranger means too much to him. Yeah, but that's a lot of silver down there. Well, I got myself an idea. You stay with him, Joe. I have a little unfinished business. some time. Reassuring way of popping up when you're needed. Well, we're not quite clear of this yet, mate. By the way, I understand congratulations are in order. Congratulations? Why, whatever do you mean? Breaking the wagon, you drive. Better get the horses, Joe. Easy away, Reese. You pick off that driver and I'll turn the wagon. We did it, Joe. Crazy wagon's going around the circle. Doubt about it, ma'am. Reese will make you a fine husband. Oh, I, I'm sure surprised he talked it over with you boys. Oh, he always does. Mm -hmm. And if the way he treats his other wives is any sample, why, you'll lead a happy and peaceful life, ma'am. I'll beg your pardon? Excuse me, ma'am.
Mike it down. to think, Mr. Bennett. Uh, uh, May, what, what's got into you anyway? I thought you and I were... Talk about changeable woman. Bye, Uncle Reese. Bye-bye, honey. We still like you anyway. Well, what do you mean, anyway? Better get moving, Reese. Hey, Chad! Whoa! What's she so mad at me for? When she gets her share of that silver, she's gonna be rich. Oh, we can't ever figure women, Reese? Well, Reese, you still count on 40 a month as a ranger. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. 